Hey you guys, it's MJ from All to Love and All to Love TV. Happy to be here. Gemini, we're going to do your reading and happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Gemini sons. I um, am rebranding. I'm changing things up on the internet. So thank you guys so much for your patience and for your love. Shout out to the Live Share crew. I have so much deep, profound love and respect for all of you. But we're switching things up. We're not doing live share career anymore. We're doing some yoga, tarot, and energy updates on the Patreon account. And I am simply resuming doing the free monthly general readings because I miss you guys and I'm getting my life together. <laughs> sort of. I don't know. Is that real? What does it any what does it mean? What does any of it mean? So my intention, my intention with tarot is to offer this community divine guidance and love and clarity. I work online, I teach yoga online. I, uh, I do teach on retreat as well, and uh, I offer online tarot, and uh, yeah, if you want to check any of that stuff out, feel free. Gemini, divine guidance and loving clarity for my beautiful Gemini lovers of the most high. Gemini, birthday season. Sun's just moved into Gemini. Gemini. Well, you know, Hala Shazam, Gemini. I think there could be, hmm. No, actually it's moved on now, but we had that huge Mars transit in Gemini. Um, tower moment and transformation, death card uh, in the reverse next to the tower moment. So, so clearly there's some major transformation going on here. What's the Knight of Pentacle in the reverse? What's the Knight of Pentacle? So not, something that you're, it's like, it's cause it's in the reverse in the four of, uh, pinnacle clarifies I would say you're not going to be able to you can't see it coming like you're not gonna see it coming and or you're in it like you're in this transformation what's the tower and the death energy for Gemini the tower and the death energy for, for the Gemini lovers wow okay mm, okay two kind of different ways of looking at it so polarity right so ten of cups one of the best one of the best cards in the deck and it's initially, it's like, okay, once you're in, once you're over this transformation and you've gone through this tower, like sh radical shape shift, perspective breakdown, right? Like that kind of thing, midlife crises, that kind of energy. Um, it's leading you to your ten of cups. So it's, it's all like, what is life? Existential crises. And then duh, new dawn. And you have clarity. You see a vision. You see a joyful vision as well, which is which is great. So this, so fear it not, this death and tower moment, um, which you cannot necessarily see coming and it could have to do with work. It could have to do with money, pentacle. Okay. And, uh, and then it's somehow, it's like you'll meet somebody through this death process or, um, it's helping you change in a really positive way. Rise like the three nights. Be happier than you've ever been happy. Being happier than ever. Yeah, that's the word. Being happier than ever. So that's, um, but then, <laughs> but then the other, the other message I got from that combination of cards was that for some of you, I think it's more about a critical, like radical perception around love, happiness, and relationship. It's almost like you've been a renegade singleton master all of your life. And then suddenly something happens and you're triggered and you're like, oh my God, I want a family. I want to have children. I want to live from the prairie. Like something completely radical changes, right? Uh, or the or the flip, like you're like having a perspective shift just around relationship, around joy and around fulfillment. Okay. Uh, so, so again, like these are all divine processes, right? So I'm getting the message of just making sure you're, you're, Balancing your pentacles. I'm sure you are, Gemini, but just making sure you're balancing your pentacles. Uh, I don't see these messages. It's just about don't overspend. I'm hearing. Just don't overspend. You'll be all right. Uh, let's get I'm um, I, I, let's get three more cards for the Gemini story. The month ahead. Happy birthday for the Gemini. That higher front wants to come out because I keep seeing it, and then a message. Eventual, eventual sort of happiness, joy, celebration for some of you. You could be going to some friends' weddings. You could be going to just festivals and parties and stuff like that. Mm. 
message. So there could be this, there's a page of swords here, which is a message. It's somehow possibly connected to the Hierophant. Somebody authoritative, maybe wanting to have a discussion with you. This, I mean, other than the Ten of Cups, which is supreme, this Nine of Cups is the only other cup. It's almost like there's like on the periphery, there's this maybe love charge or sense of happily ever after, honeymoon, joy. Uh, for some of you, weirdly, you could be dealing with some legal issue. Um, there's something about it. It's you're getting it done, but there's. Uh, like a, a, an underlying frustration around having to, it's like filling out forms to get X, Y, and Z or, and thus you're just not focusing on love, making offers. If you are in something, it's going through change because you're going through change and you're not receiving, you're not open. To, it's like, you're just not open to it. You're not open to love. You're not really wanting to have that because you're dealing with this like you're dealing with an authority you're dealing with a your own even like your own connection to spirit or god like you're you're dealing with that like i'm getting important messages <laughs> and then um this just signals the eventual again but here the sweet juice of life you have ten of cups and the four of wands so in your future coming in to this energy is a sense of celebration often often the Four of Wands is the honeymoon card. So you're going through this major radical perspective shift and change. And then Ten of Cups is like emerging, like, wait, oh my God, I want this and I want to have this and da, 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 da. And then to have that Four of Wands there, I'm like, you're going to be a celebrating. You're likely, yeah, just going to be celebrating this newfound love. And maybe it is just for yourself. But mm, in respect to the cards, there's people in these energies like ten of cups there's not just one person in ten of cups there's kitties and farm animals dogs and no there are there's just two kids and two adults but um you catch my drift and then there's four of wands so i feel like this joyful expression coming through you in in the horizon has shifted things enough to put it in the ground it's like it's, it's like your future is then establishing the actual material foundational pillars of this new joyful life that you're creating really nice gemini super change so yeah you're in you're still you're in that flux okay you're in that flux of change so what does that make me think sit tight don't you know like rest when you can get stay grounded like getting in the nature or whatever yeah it's just praising the trees kind of vibe two of trees that's representative of the two of wands in the traditional tarot the two of wands is making me think about like opening yourself up to the options right letting yourself see what's there but also being very connected to the moon to the water to the stars to the trees right so something about you are that oneness and then the joy card so this is a this is a very kind of like polarized reading and as far as like some of the shadows like some of the stuff that you're filtering through is intense death reverse tower big breakthroughs big changes like sudden what what am i doing not this this like you have you ever gone through that guys like when you're like wow so this is what's going down and it's a beautiful thing because it's leading you to this ten of cups holla and the four of wands so it's a honeymoon it's a feeling of joy and celebration and epic epic heart love avatar but you're not going to be able to see it coming it's sort of coming out the fray here but it is coming from a deeper sense of stillness and joy and then the six of coin so this making me yeah Ooh. okay so yeah there's then then again on the other edge of the vortex, there's still these eventual offers that want to come in. That pentacle one, the coin, looks definitely like a position. Would you? Hmm. Yeah, there's something balancing out, almost like the karmic scales a bit. A king of swords here, clarity of mind. I'm hearing and also clarity of purpose for some of you. Oh, nice. Luck card. Feeling good about the person that you are. Working on yourself in a sense of 
something about reciprocity, like giving yourself all the love that you, you want to give out. Roses and poppies. There's something about roses and poppies, the flowers here. Yeah, moving to, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, allowing yourself to be happy, allowing yourself to move forward here. There's a lot more joy. There's a lot more emotional, um, not just stability, but like emotional benevolence. There's a sense of joy. There's a sense of like, yay, I can finally move forward or I finally have that peace. I can finally see clear. I could see clearly now. So yeah, hey ho, Gemini, there you go. Have a great day month if that resonated feel free to comment and like and subscribe i appreciate all of you guys so much um thank you for being my internet friends i'll see you guys real soon take care peace out